हेलो एंड वेलकम टू रुचि अकेडमी हेलो एंड वेलकम टू रुचि अकेडमी आई नो यू डेफिनेटली नीडेड गुड स्टफ फॉर योर स्टडीज Now your hunt is over. I am here for you with this exam special video. These MCQs are extremely important from exam point of view if you want to score high. This type of stuff you won't get it from anywhere as it covers whole chapters and frequently asked questions in the exams. So it is very important video you have ever seen. Let's get into the video. Question one: The number of non-metallic elements which are liquids at room temperature is a two, b one, c four, d three. Answer is b one. Bromine is only non-metal which is liquid at room temperature. Question two: The most abundant element in the Earth's crust is a silicon, b carbon. C oxygen D calcium answer is oxygen answer is oxygen oxygen 46.6% is the most abundant element in the earth crust question 3 the most abundant metal in the earth's crust is A iron B copper C aluminium D gold correct answer is aluminium Aluminium is 8.1 percent. is the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust. Question four: Sublimation of iodine, camphor, and naphthalene is an example of a chemical change, b energy change, c physical change, d irreversible change. Sublimation is a process in which solid converts into gas directly without converting into liquid so the answer is physical change because all of the are volatile substances volatile means that can change suddenly come iodine camphor and naphthalene all three are volatile substances that's why the answer is c question 5 Which of the following is an example of mixture? A sugar B brass C carbon dioxide D nitrogen dioxide Correct answer is brass because brass is a mixture of copper and zinc. Question 6 Which of the following is not a compound? A sugar B common salt C diamond D plaster of paris Correct answer is diamond because diamond is a pure substance it is made up of only carbon Question 7 Milk of magnesia is an example of A emulsion B true solution C colloid D suspension The correct answer is suspension. Milk of magnesia is an example of suspension. Question A. Which of the following is a true solution? A. Sodium chloride in sulfur dioxide. B. Copper in silver. C. Salt in petrol. D. Mud in water. Correct answer is B copper and silver because they form an alloy Question 9 Amalgam is a solution of A solid in solid B solid in liquid C liquid in solid D liquid in liquid Correct answer is C because Amalgam is a solution of mercury in metal. 
Question 10. Rusting of an article made up of iron is called corrosion and it is a physical as well as chemical change. B. Dissolution and it is a chemical change. C. Corrosion and it is a chemical change. D. Dissolution and it is a chemical change. Correct answer is C. Rusting of an article made up of iron is called corrosion and it is a chemical change. Question 11. Tincture of iodine has an antiseptic properties. This solution is made up by dissolving A. Iodine in potassium iodine B. Iodine in Vaseline C. Iodine in water D. Iodine in alcohol Correct answer is D. Iodine in alcohol. Question 12. Which of the following is an element? A. Marble B. Graphite C. Washing stone D. Stone Correct answer is Graphite B. Graphite is made up of carbon only. Question 13. Select that has a definite boiling point. A. True solution. B. Compound. C. Colloid. D. All of these. Correct answer is B. Compounds have definite boiling point. Question 14. We can see the particles of colloidal solution with A. Naked eyes. B. Help of ultra microscope. C. Help of microscope. D. None of these. Correct answer is the help of microscope. Because the particle size of colloids is between 10 raised to power minus 5 to 10 raised to power minus 7 centimeters. Question 15. On passing through a colloidal solution, the beam light gets A. Reflected B. Refracted C. Scattered D. Absorbed Correct answer is C. Scattered This is due to scattering of light by colloidal particles called Tyndall effect. Question 16 Brass is an example of A. Compound B. Element C. Homogeneous mixture D. Heterogeneous mixture Correct answer is C. Homogeneous mixture because brass is an alloy. Question 17. Which one of the following mixture is homogeneous? A. Starch and sugar B. Methanol and water C. Graphite and charcoal D. Calcium carbonate and calcium bicarbonate Correct answer is B. Methanol and water because a mixture of methanol, a liquid and water, a liquid is homogeneous. Question 18. A mixture of sulfur and carbon disulfide is A. Heterogeneous and shows Tyndall effect. Homogeneous and shows Tyndall effect. C. Heterogeneous and does not show Tyndall effect. D. Homogeneous and does not show Tyndall effect. The Tyndall effect is light scattering by particles in a colloid or in a very fine suspension. Example is smoke or dust in a room. So, the correct answer is D. Homogeneous and does not show Tyndall effect. A mixture of sulfur and carbon disulfide is homogeneous and does not show Tyndall effect. Question 19. The example of solution of liquid in gas is A. Dry air B. Sugar in water C. Mercury in gold D. Moist air Correct answer is D. Moist air. Moist air contains 
water vapors dispersed in air. Question 20 The process used to separate oil and water is A. Distillation B. Sublimation C. Separating funnel D. Chromatography Correct answer is C. Separating funnel Because as oil being less denser than water, it forms upper layer. The mixture of oil and water can be separated by using separating funnel. Question 21 Distillation is a good separation technique for A. Solids B. Liquid C. Solid alloys D. Gases Correct answer is B. Liquids Distillation is a separation technique used for separation of miscible liquids having different boiling point. Question 22 Solubility is a good separation technique for A. Pure metals B. Noble gases C. Different salts D. Metallic alloys Correct answer is C. Different salts Different salts have different solubility in a particle solvent. Thus, on this basis, mixture of different salts can be separated. Question 23 Pick out physical changes from the following A. Rusting of iron B. Dissolving salt in water C. Change of water to ice D. Cooking of food Options are A and B B and C A, B and C C and D Correct answer is B B and C. Rusting of iron and cooking of food is a chemical change because the property of rust are different from those of iron and the properties of cooked food are different from raw vegetable etc. Question 24. Water boiling in open fry pan represents which type of change? A. Physical and irreversible change B. Chemical and irreversible change C. Physical and reversible change D. Chemical and reversible change Correct answer is A. Physical and irreversible change As on boiling water gets converted into steam which is physical change but steam is lost into atmosphere as a pan is open. That's why the lost steam cannot be condensed back to water, therefore change is irreversible. Question 25th Chemical change is always accompanied by A. Production of sound B. Heat and light C. Change in mass D. Change in color Options are A, B and C B and D A only Last one is A, B and D the correct answer is D, A, B and D because a chemical change produces heat, light and sound and products are of different colors than the reactants. Question 26 Which of the following is a chemical change? A. Dent produced on car body by cricket ball B. Stretching of rubber band C. Brinchel and apples become dark on exposure to atmosphere D. Formation of salts by collecting sea water in shadow pits Correct answer is Brinchel and apples become dark on exposure to atmosphere These fruits, brinjals and apples become dark due to chemical changes Rest all options Represent physical change only. Question 27. Solution is a A. Homogeneous mixture of two or more substances whose composition can be varied. B. 
heterogeneous mixture of two or more substances whose composition can be varied. C. Homogeneous mixture of two or more substances having fixed composition. D. Heterogeneous mixture of two or more substances having fixed composition. Correct answer is A. Homogeneous mixture of two or more substances whose composition can be varied. Question 28. Volume percentage is a A. Mass of solute in grams present per 1000 ml of solution. Mass of solute in kilograms present per 1000 milliliter of solution. C. Mass of solute in kilograms present per 100 milliliter of solution. Of solution. D. Mass of solute in grams present per 100 milliliter of solution. Answer is D. Volume percentage is a mass of solute in grams present per 100 milliliter of solution. Question 29. On the basis of the following features, identify the correct option. A. Heat is absorbed. B. Change of color is observed. C. Physical change. Options are physical change, reversible change, exothermic chemical change, endothermic chemical change. Correct answer is D. Endothermic chemical change. Question 30. On the basis of following features, identify the correct option. A. This technique is used for purification of solid organic compounds. B. It is based on different insolubilities of compound and impurities. Options are chromatography, B. Separating funnel, C. Crystallization, D. Distillation. Correct answer is C. Crystallization. Question 31. Which of the following? Which of the following is a compound? A. Stainless steel. B. Bronze. C. Graphite. D. Hydrogen sulphide. Correct answer is D. Hydrogen sulphide. Hydrogen sulphide is a compound of hydrogen and sulphur. Stainless steel and bronze are alloys which are graphite and whereas graphite is altotrophic form of element carbon. Question 32. In which of the following constituents are present in any ratio? A. Mixture B. Compound C. Solution D. Colloid Answer is D. Colloid because mixture do not have any fixed composition. Question 33. Camphor can be purified by A. Distillation B. Filtration C. Sedimentation D. Sublimation Correct answer is sublimation because camphor is being a sublime substance can be purified by sublimation. Question 34. Purity of solid substance can be checked by its A. Boiling point B. Melting point C. Solubility in water D. Solubility in alcohol Correct answer is B. Melting point because every pure solid has fixed melting point. Question 35. Salt can be obtained from seawater by A. Filterization B. Decantation C. Evaporation D. Sublimation Correct answer is C. Correct answer is C. Evaporation Seawater is a solution of salt and water. During evaporation, water gets evaporated off and salt left as residue. Question 36. A mixture of methyl alcohol and acetone 
can be separated by distillation b fractional distillation c steam distillation d distillation under reduced pressure correct answer is fractional distillation mixture of methyl alcohol and acetone can be separated by fractional distillation as there is only small difference between boiling points of methyl alcohol and acetone question 37 mixture of sand and sulfur may be best separated by a fractional crystallization from aqueous solution b magnetic method c fractional distillation d dissolving in carbon disulfide and filtering correct answer is d dissolving in carbon disulfide and filtering because sulfur gets dissolved in carbon disulfide and separated out as filtrate while sand gets collected on filter paper as residue question 38 physical properties of a mixture a vary with the amount of substance b depend on the volume of substance c depend on the organization of substance d vary depending upon its components correct answer is d vary depending upon its components because physical properties of a mixture are same as of its components question 39 compounds a are the same as mixtures b can be separated by their physical properties c contain only one type of element d are different kind of atoms chemically combined with the combined with each other correct answer is d compound are different kinds of atoms can be chemically combine with each other question 40 to prepare iron sulfide by heating a mixture of iron filling and sulfur powder we should use a a copper dish b watch glass c china dish d petri dish correct answer is c china dish That's all for today. I hope this video will help you to keep your stress under control. Do not forget to watch part 2 practice video for this chapter. Subscribe the channel, help your friend by sharing the video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. All the best.